Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Paris. We're here for Greg's Game Plan, brought to you by your Southeast Michigan Ford dealers. It is the morning of game day. Greg Kelser, George Blaha here with us. And, you know, we think about Paris, we think about cafes and baguettes and croissants and macarons. So we've yeah. got a little bit of that for us to sample here at La Durée, which is a, a famous cafe here in Paris. But you look at what this week has been like for us all. George, what's been a highlight for you? I thought the very first night here, the welcome reception right next door to the Eiffel Tower was yeah. spectacular. And they had extra lighting there just for us. Yeah. And everybody thinks, if I go to Paris, I got to see the Eiffel Tower. We got that done yeah. <laughs> night number one. And it, it was great. Didn't you think, Gregory? I thought so. And I even climbed the steps yesterday. Listen, this whole trip has been fantastic. The, uh, the Parisians have done uh, everything they could do to make us feel welcome. They, they rolled out the red carpet. They continue to do so. Yeah. Uh, we have a game to play. I understand that. <laughs> right. I mean, this has just been incredible. And, and I know the young players, the Pistons, they're going to all appreciate this and, and remember it for a lifetime. How unique is this experience as a whole? For, for a lot of us, it's a once in a lifetime. But how unique is this opportunity for a lot of these young guys to be able to play a game in a foreign country? Well, I've been broadcasting games for, I think this is my 47th year with the Pistons. and. Uh, other than going to Toronto occasionally, we've uh, we haven't been outside the USA to broadcast games very often. We've, right. we've been in Mexico City and London and now Paris, yeah. but you know this was a six or seven hour flight, so you know you're way outside the <laughs> yeah. USA. And the centuries old buildings yeah. here, yeah. incredible. Yeah, show you how. Uh, how long Paris has been around and how important Paris really is. Yeah, no question. And the food. The food has been top notch, mm. hasn't it? <laughs> and I know you love it. <laughs> well, you look at, you know, we, we talk about the NBA and the brand of Detroit basketball. Now you've got an opportunity on, you know, a global stage, really. How important is it for, for not just the guys, but for the organization as a whole to kind of relish being able to express what Detroit is all about? Well, it's an opportunity to, to, to represent yourself, your city, your country and your brand and clearly the nba's goal from a long time ago was to make the nba a global brand that has been successful but not resting on any laurels looking to just uh, continue to increase awareness and the thing i really liked was the uh commitment that tom boris and his organization has has uh, demonstrated in terms of being impactful in the city of detroit changing things for others that did it here in in Paris yesterday yeah. by dedicating a rec center and uh, some great kids were there to participate in all yeah, that. That it was. Gentlemen, bonjour. Let's have a night. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> 